What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build, this time with my Fire and Ice Mage. Let's get straight to the build, I'm using the Commander set, 4 pieces light armor and 1 piece the chest one in medium armor for extra resistance. I have retraded every single piece into Constitution and Int. Works all the same with refreshing and resilient. Resilient gives crit resistance. Refreshing reduces the max cooldown. On the jewelry, full int with the last perk here potion cooldown 25% faster. Super powerful instead of 30 seconds. You can use potions after 23 seconds. Very important. One of the strongest perks. Another strong perk is Hearty, which gives 8.6% max stamina. In total, we have 109 stamina, which means we can roll dodge more often. So, pretty nice. And the last one, a necklace, 520 gear score, 21 int, with another cooldown reduction and mana recovery. I didn't get a better one, so it's better than nothing. Weapons front bar a fire stuff called Prime Resolve, like the questline. I will link you to the questline in the description below, check it out. It's a 580 gear score one, not the best one for PvP. The two perks are really bad to be honest, but it's still a 580 one with int and I put the Nopal gem on it for 15% more damage while your stamina is not full and with this build I roll dodge often enough so the uptime is really high on the opal one. Second weapon a ice gauntlet also with the opal gem. Uh, this ice gauntlet is from the level 60 plus dungeon garden of genesis if I remember correctly only 525 gear score, but still decent with vicious 10% extra crit damage and chain eyes for extra damage. Gems, um, full diamond here for extra physical and elemental absorption. Potions, I use two different ones, the infused health potions and the infused regeneration potions. A small tip, use the infused regeneration potion shortly before you use tomb this skill here which gives you more or less immortality for 10 seconds so use the infused regeneration potion if you need to go in tomb and as you can see you still regenerate hp and mana over time during tomb buff food the hearty meal for hp regen the energizing hearty meal for mana region and sometimes this one for extra int and uh, constitution this one here the 40 int buff food the most expensive one is of course better but it's just too expensive for me so I use only the level 21 with 12 int and 8 constitution it's more than enough attribute points 300 points in int and 111 points in constitution. Why over 100 points in constitution? Simple, it increases our max health by 10% and our physical armor too. I need 300 points into int, which increases our damage by 30% on our first hit on full targets, on full health targets. And on top of that, dot duration by 30% increase. And one of the most important stuff for me, especially uh, 10 mana points after a dodge with this build, thanks to the trade party. Like I said before, we can roll dodge more often. Our weapon skill abilities, let's start with the fire stuff. First active one is fireball. Fireball leads a ton of AoE and dot damage, especially the initial hit, which can um, 
get empowered by special perks, which increases the initiative of fireball. Uh, I don't have it, but I will definitely build one with this uh, juicy perk then. Then in Kinerate, it's a strong AoE, which also hits twice with this juicy passive here, Flame Out. And with 3, 4, 5 targets, it also heals a ton of HP. On top of that, it also applies burning, so a small dot. Last skill is Burnout. I mainly use it as a defensive skill. So if I have two or three targets on me, especially if I get stunned or staggered, I try to use Burnout to just escape the melees and to keep some distance from them. But you can also use it aggressively. It deals a good amount of AoE damage and it applies burn too. So another extra dot. Passives, spell focus, heavy text reserve 5% of your max mana. Then Fury Restoration, Heavy Attacks reduce Fire Stuff cooldowns, Clear Mind while above 50% mana you gain 10% Empower, so a damage increase. Sing, when you get a critical hit with the Fire Stuff cause Burning, so another extra dot here. Clear Casting. If you haven't taken damage in the last 3 seconds, the 10% more damage. Juicy passes to be honest. Next one, Spell Slinger. Your abilities get an extra 15% chance to critical strike. Another damage passive here. Flare. Heavy takes no lower consume mana. Super super powerful. And really important, you have to use this for sustain. Profit of a Fire God. While holding Fire Stuff, your critical strike damage is increased by 20%. Another damage boost here. Right side, uh, Pyromania. While holding a Fire Stuff and below 50% max health. Another damage increase by 20%. Next passive, let it burn. Whenever burn deeds damage, gain 45 for only 2 seconds, but still a 10% damage absorption. Strong. And the last one, Combat Speed for Haste, 10% Movement Speed for 5 seconds and a 5 seconds cooldown. I don't use Ultimate Passives here, I don't really need it for PvP. This one for example is super powerful in PvE to increase our damage by 30%. And since we have this passive here, we don't really need Sustain. Next weapon is our Ice Gauntlet, active skill, the first one is Ice Storm, one of the strongest AoEs in this game, it eats a ton of AoE damage, the radius is insane and also slows the enemies. With all passives here to increase the damage, to decrease the mana cost and increase damage again. Next active skill, Ice Shower. It's a root ability, it um, deals no damage, but like I said, it roots. So if you are in trouble, I always put it behind me. So the enemies are just stuck for, I think, 4 seconds in there. They can only escape it with a gap closer, like burnout from the fire stuff, or charge to get closer from the great eggs and the last one is entombed also one of the strongest defensive skills it gives you almost immortality for 10 seconds and you still regen mana in there and hp and on top of that it also deals a good amount of aoe damage too if you press the left mouse button on top of that it also cleanses all debuffs. The other passive on the right side, only this one, Quick Frost, to increase our speed by 10% in a frosted area. But most of the points have it on the left side, just because of this ultimate passive here, called Ultimate Chill, which increases our damage by 35% if the targets are chilled. 
and it's pretty easy to get um, this uh, debuff called Chilled with all our ice abilities we can easily apply it. All the left passives here are pretty crap to be honest. I only have them for the ulti passive. But if you prefer you can put some points on the right tree. But I recommend the left tree more. That's it for the PvP build. If you want to see some gameplay footage I will link them in the description below. Check it out. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. I would really appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I see you hopefully in the next one. Ciao!